Hey everyone, uh, I'm a bit squished under here. Uh, we're going to go through our electrical system now. Uh, when we actually put a lot of this in, we've lost a lot of the footage for it because uh, it was really hot and our cameras and phones and stuff kept overheating while trying to record. So there's heaps of footage there that's all corrupt and we can't actually use. So I'm going to hopefully take you through these things, then I'll sort of put in what we do have of when we actually did it and hopefully it'll make sort of a, a cohesive and, and full picture video. Uh, so I thought we'd just start with the batteries first. Um, yeah, we said before, they're 12 volt, 200 amp hour lithium batteries. Uh, we've also said this before, but one of the limits to these is a uh, max current draw. Current draw. Um, so these ones are 70 amps. So together you get 24 volts at 70 amps, which is about 1600 watts or so, do the math. Um, which is enough for us, but it's definitely something to be aware. Some are only 50, some are 100. If you want to go down this route, it's definitely something you've just got to be mindful of. Um, so because they're in series, there's one connecting the positive of this one to the negative of this one. Then this one's positive runs into this isolator here, which we'll talk about more later. And then this one's negative runs into our battery monitor shunt, which once again, we'll run in later. But the main thing is you connect them together and then positive of one and negative of one. Cool. So I figured we start here. This is our all our switches for our charge controlling and battery controlling and that sort of thing. Uh, so we've got PVRA, which is the isolator for our solar panels, charge controller, which is the isolator for our charge controller, and then we don't use this one. This is one that we can run any 12, 24 volt loads off, but I've done it a different way. So if I take this off, oh, that was loud. So the solar panels come in the top of here uh, I th we'll talk about that more once when we do the video of installing the solar panels because I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got that video but solar panels come in the top of here then come out the bottom of here come through this channel then up to the PV part on the solar charger then it goes from the battery through here into the bottom here which then comes from up here comes down through here through the channel then to this isolator here which then goes off to the positive and then the negative comes down here to the top of our negative shunt. So this is our battery monitor shunt. Um, just what you get when you get a battery monitor. All loads and stuff go into the top one and then the bottom part goes over to the negative of your battery. So we've got the charge controller, the big ones, the inverter. Uh, this is the lead for our um, battery combiner and then our 24 volt loads all go to this. So everything goes to this um, and then there's two little sense wires I don't know if you can see in there they just go to the positive of the main battery and then the positive of the battery combiner which is here all right so next this is our battery combiner um, don't actually think it works at the moment so we'll go through that more later we'll just show how it is at the moment and then yeah yeah take it with a grain of salt um, so the positive here goes through to the positive of our um, starter battery and then it goes over into this isolator which then comes up to the top of here and just runs off the same one as the charge controller just so there's not a lot of connection points everywhere so it comes in the top of here from the bottom of the isolator which then goes over to the battery 2 of the combiner then battery one of the combiner goes over to our starter battery but yeah we're not entirely sure if it works we haven't really needed it yet so we haven't done a lot of testing but yeah it's all there and and plugged in and there's a cat getting in the video <laughs> get out of the way Sorry, come here. all right then moving over again we've got our inverter isolator so the inverter positive comes in over to the right hand side then the left hand side is what runs over to our battery um, and then that's where the charge controller comes over to as well so that sort of runs most of our stuff um, so this is our I should probably talk about what we've got too our solar controller is a Victron um, MPPT 150 by 35 so because we've got a 24 volt system uh, we only needed to get a 150 by 35 um, because it covers 150 volts and 35 amps which if you've got a 12 volt system 
um, you know the amps might be more so that's how we've um, done that then we've also got a Victron inverter so it's a multi plus compact 24 volt 2000 VA um, this does charging and the inverter side of it so that all goes off over here uh, it's got a function where it, one of the cables goes off and runs all of our 240 volt stuff and then another cable charges it and we've got it so that our hot water only works on 240 volt so I won't go through that too much because I didn't put it in because I'm not licensed to do that and looking at it kind of is a little confusing to me um, but yeah so we'll try and move the camera now so we can show you our 12 volt and 24 volt stuff okay so we've now come over to our 12 volt and 24 volt stuff uh, so this is the stuff that I put in so as most of you know this board came pre-built to us um, by Steve Langshaw from um, Langshaw. Queensland Langshaw Electrical he was nice enough to put it all together for us um, I just sort of have had a look at it so I sort of know how it all fits together um, I hope it all made sense let us know any questions and stuff you have or if i wasn't clear on anything we'll hopefully have a blog post up not too long after this that sort of goes with it and has a bit more detail so sort of watch uh watch that space but yeah so if we come over so this is our main isolator for our 24 volt so the positive of this just runs over to the 20 uh the positive of our battery and then comes out into the top of this fuse block. So we don't have a lot of 24 volt stuff. So we've got a 24 volt water pump. Our fridge is 24 volt. And then this one comes down and actually comes down to our 12 volt to 24 volt uh, converter. So positive of this goes into the positive here and the negative comes into here and then it comes out into the in and out of this fuse block which is positive down here negative up here and then that runs all of our 12 volt stuff so you've got toilet oven well the the light of the oven uh, the roof lights our water heater ignition and we have a 12 volt outlet so all of this stuff I should be able to show you during the actual um, filming and installing of those appliances but yeah, the actual entirety of it, this is sort of it. All right, so that's it for, yeah, the board and sort of everything. Um, we'll now go through, I think we installed some lights and that sort of thing. We'll just see what footage we have of the, yeah, from the build itself. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm just uh, installing our bedroom light switch. So I've just put this here I've sort of done it about two centimeters in and I've marked a circle where the hole has to go all right so here's our wiring for our lights so this is the light wire coming down then we've got the two negatives um, soldered and heat shrinks together this will run off down to our fuse block so what we want to do is we just want to pass these through but on the back of your, so we're just using a household light switch. Um, I saw a lot online debates whether you can or can't. I wasn't going to, but finding 12 volt light switches was difficult. And the person at the electronics store was like, yeah, I use them all the time and don't have any issues. So we're just going to use them. So you want to light wire your lights to the C or common. If you've got more than one light running to it, like we do with the front, just put them all into the common and then either one or two I'm using one that will run off down to your fuse block you don't need loop or anything you don't need to connect to the negative when it's only 12 volt wiring so yeah I'll put them in and show what it looks like when it's done all right so there it is now we just need to screw into the top and screw into the bottom and then put the cover plate on There's our light switch. So, so I'd show you this is the light switch at the front. So see you've got two lights coming in. So 
So the two positive go up into the common, two negative come through and twist together to the one negative going off to the fuse block, and then one positive going from one off to the fuse block as well. So the way we did it, we wanted two in the front and one in the back for the bed. So we've wired two up to this switch and then one up to the switch over near the bedroom. Okay, so we didn't get good footage of our light installation. So I just thought I'd show you. Um, they're just these caravan lights that don't actually recess into the wall. I mean the, the roof. So let me see if I can get them out. Seize so them. They are just come like this. So you just solder your positive and negative wire and then you screw three screws into the roof and then you put it up and twist it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it one handed but yeah that's the general idea. We find them super bright and they're really good. It meant that we didn't have to worry about down lights or anything like that which might have been a little bit nicer but these were uh, heaps more convenient. All right, so we're just installing our battery monitor and our inverter control panel. So with the battery monitor, you just got to drill a 52 to 53. We didn't have either of those, so we drilled a 54 mil hole in the wall. Pop it in. It comes with a little bracket that you just screw in around it and then pop the cover on. Quite simple. With the control panel, we just took the, uh, the little mounting point, popped it here, drew a square around it, or a rectangle inside. Now we're just cutting it out with a jigsaw, and we'll put it over the hole, screw it in, and then we'll put the, uh, the bracket in. Beautiful. So. Okay, so this is just our battery monitor and um, inverter controller installed. So our battery monitor mainly just sort of tells us our current um, watt generation, so whether it's positive or negative. You can also step it through to um, what's that? Current amp draw, voltage. Draw, I think that's of the second battery, which we don't have plugged in. That's our main battery's voltage. Um, current time left, so it's currently at infinite. Battery percentage is at 100. Um, I'm not sure what that one is, but we mainly just keep it on yeah, the wattage, and then we just see, to see whether we're in positive or negative. And then the inverter controller, you can mainly just go from on, off, or charge only, all from the controller and then you just sort of get some status lights and everything uh, too. All right, so that's it for the electrical video. Uh, I hope it was helpful. As I said before, let me know if there's any questions that you have or if I didn't explain anything clearly enough. Uh, and yeah, it's also sort of showed you how, to in how we installed our light switches and our battery monitor uh, controller and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, now we can move on to actually installing the appliances themselves. So hopefully we'll go through and do like say toilet install, we'll do water, like plumbing and electrical for each different appliance. Now the sort of two main parts are out of the way. Uh, if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe and share it. And until next time, thank you.